Right now we're on the Indian Creek Trail, the lower half of it. This is a very common thoroughfare for those of us that want to stay out of the streets and get a little nature in between taking care of patients. It's where I go and take all of our applicants and our residents for our hikes after every interview day. And actually the back side of the trail, you can take all the way up to One Community Health. So when we started the Providence Hood River Rural Training Program, we'd really tried to look around the community to see where were the best place for the residents to learn to be family doctors. Where the patients were and where the need was, was One Community Health, They're serving the needs of a, a vulnerable population that is uh, really important to the economic viability of this area, and those are our farm workers. It's founded on a long history of Providence, Oregon region, providing medical education to our students completing graduation. And if it was not for the history of Providence, of having that formation and background and foundation in medical education, it would be possible, but it would be very difficult to have a rural residency in Hood River. Because we really need to get more physicians into small towns. In a rural community, we don't have access to specialists at our fingertips. And a lot of our patients can't travel to specialists either. So we have to be creative in how we help these patients. The family doctors are very used to taking on a lot of different challenges. It sounds like it's like it's all over back pain. It's just what it says in the when you're in Hood River, you don't do blocks of one particular subject. We had different experiences mixed in continuously. Doing clinic, but being on call, having to run to the hospital. That's just more like the real world, it, the kind of program where you could really design what you wanted to do. And you can come out of this program doing full spectrum medicine, and going on to do C-section fellowship, doing surgeries. It's a huge benefit of being in a, a small program like ours is that each one of us count an awful lot and everyone's really invested in our success. One of the nice things about the residents here is they really get exposed to a huge breadth of what we do. Um, and I think that's to the residency's credit. They're also, because they're not in an academic center, they're not waiting in line behind a more senior resident or a fellow or you know, a junior attending to, to do things. They are truly the ones taking care of patients first and foremost. I haven't even gone into how much support you get from Bob in this program. Bob is just a, an amazing force of love energy. He really wants us to succeed. First of all, I love to teach and uh, I also like to create. When you grow residents and you graduate them at the end of the year, you're providing another physician to take care of another thousands of other group of patients. The doctors and the medical providers here, they want to be here. They're here because it's a great place to live. The quality of life was just fantastic. The fact that within five or 10 minutes, you can be at a trailhead, trail running, mountain biking, hiking. They're not just doing their medical education here. They're actually becoming part of a community which has a long standing history and vibrancy. Everybody who works there really has this desire to make our community stronger and healthier, and not just in the clinic, but in the community in general. I was actually born in Hood River. I have uh, pretty deep roots in the community. When you apply for the program, I'm really the kind of your first contact. Um, I'm the person that you would meet and talk to either on the phone or through emails um, and kind of help you help guide you throughout that entire process. Our residency program is really like a village where everyone contributes from the family physicians are in private and also public practice, but also those specialists that have really stepped up and been willing to provide training for our residents in surgery, OBGYN. Being a doctor is teaching. <laughs> Whether you're teaching a patient or another doctor or a medical student. Um, so we mostly work side by side sort of doing the same job, um, or I'm teaching them how to do my part of the job anyway. You know, say you want to really focus on obstetrics uh, or pediatrics or other things like that, uh, hospital medicine, you can certainly do that, so. We do teaching conferences. Our nurses come to these conferences, our population health managers. It's all connected with the residencies. Through all those three years, our residents are lucky enough to get to work and see patients as their continuity patients. It's because we're in a rural community. They might be in the ENT office 
and see a patient that they actually saw in the primary care office. It's such an important and kind of beautiful part of what we do. When you know my patients show up really sick in the hospital and I walk in the door and I'm a face they know and that you know we've established a trusting relationship, being able to be with them in those moments, I think, is really, really important. It's definitely a satisfying group of patients to work for. There's a lot of need, but a lot of heart, a lot of, a lot of great people here. This is a great healthy community to be a part of. I'm really fortunate that I get to work with such an amazing faculty of people that are committed to the mission of One Community Health. We also have a staff that many of whom are bilingual, bicultural, and we have our residents work alongside them. My Spanish improved drastically during my first year of residency. Just from doing 50% of my visits in Spanish, that is such a valuable skill that I learned. We have a, a really strong partner in Providence which has really helped stabilize this community and the hospital. And because we're local and we live in this community, it was a lot easier to develop that bond and that level of trust that exists between not just the clinicians, but also the administrators of both organizations. I had a great experience in residency, and I feel really prepared for my practice and I'm the real one.